one xenomorph is quicker and stronger than that. Do better. I don't think we should have joined Radek. I'm beginning to suspect that this Korea move isn't working out. Oh, you think? Geostation the orbit of the planet. But. But. But it seems we have conquered them. The Infinitum is also in orbit. Huh. Those band of rejects. The ship is replete with various instructions and communicators on their onboard systems from Wayland. Though the reconnaissance team didn't find any life signs on board. Those on board the Infinitum would have gone to the Wayland building, in which case they most likely encountered our target. So they're probably dead. What of our target? Alive and right where we thought it would be, sir. The population of Beta Terra appears to have been wiped out. The Wayland building is defenseless, though we are picking up multiple life signs in there of human origin. It's unclear if they are friend or foe. Oh, we have no friends there. Are the retrieval squads assembled? In the process, though I have changed my mind, and I myself will lead the retrieval. Good. What if we should come across the Infinitum crew or any surviving Wayland personnel? Should we capture Kill them. But as stated, it shouldn't be a bridge you need to cross. Very good, sir. I will keep him informed. I'm wondering why the crew of the Infinitum would have gone to the Wayland building. I had the very same thought. It is impossible that Wayland know the target and its destructive power, so they're not here for the same reason as us. How did they get the Infinitum here? What are Wayland trying to hide? Maybe if they survive, capturing one or two of the crew might be useful. A big if. Granted, one would be useful captured alive. The rest would be more useful dead. Got it. So, what exactly has been going on? You are more like my patients. If we are not your prisoners, then let us go. Take a look at yourselves. You're not bound. You are experiencing temporary paralysis. It will pass in a few moments. I don't understand any of this. I'm confused. The mission you were on was false. Wayland lied to you. Your real job here was to cover up one last lie before... One last lie before what? Before Wayland killed you to cover you all up. What was the lie? Me. Fine. I think we'll realize. 
realize that whatever this situation is, it isn't him trying to kill us. But you're gonna need to start making sense. Like, what the fuck was all that shit with those creatures attacking us? Are you trying to rescue us from them? None of that was real. None of you are who you think you are. You have implants in your brain which is blocking your memories and feeding you false ones created by Wayland Yutani. Bullshit. No, keep talking. You are neither ex-military or law enforcement. Er, have you met me? These guns right here, 100% pure Marine Corps. Fuck yeah. Lame. Who are you? I don't have a name as such, but I'm referred to as Proto Singularity Theta, or Prost for short. Okay, Prost. I'm Jack. This is Miranda, Conrad, Gas, and him on the end we call Bane. You know, because of the whole Batman thing. And this one isn't much of a talker. Shame others haven't joined him in that. You got some nerve making comments like that. Have you heard yourself? I think it's been agreed that you sound like an old man from fuck knows where. Fuck off. I sound like a typical young woman. Yeah, well, they call me Tonto, and that there what? is Pilo and... And I'm Kopi. Oh my god, I've just realized. You said proto-singularity. Do you mean Wayland have achieved the singularity and that you're it? Yes. Your mission to secure the control room was simply a ploy. When you had actually secured the control room, a pre-recorded transmission would suddenly play. Alert. Important message incoming. Please be advised that the mission parameters have altered. It is imperative that you secure the android in the laboratory located on the level above. The droid is marked PROST. It must be taken, fully functioning, to the height beyond the quarantine bay. The droid mimics sentience and is incredibly dangerous. It has internal components, however, that are made of an experimental alloy that can do great things for humanity. Once in the hangar, place the droid on the craft that is located there. It is programmed with home and coordinates. Do not stay on the craft with the droid. After the craft has departed, please return to this control room and break the fire alarm. This will signal to us that the mission was completed successfully. At that point, your mission is over, so evacuate. To compensate you for this unforeseen change to the job, each of you will have an additional 50,000 Unibits deposited into your accounts. Time is of the essence. Thank you. Here are the schematics. The fire alarm in the control room, once broken, sets off a 10 second self-destruct sequence. This whole mission hasn't felt right from the start. Let's just go back to the dropship and get off this planet. I want my memories back. I remember things that just don't add up to me. What can you do about it? I can remove the implant, however we currently do not have the time. Then make the time. While we were on those tables, you could have been taking the implant out then, couldn't you? What were you doing? Injecting you all with nanotech that I have developed. What have you done to us? Were you putting things up my ass? No, the nanotech will make you faster, stronger, and better. None of you currently remember what you know of Red Ark. It is a dark arm of Wayland research and development. Very few people, even within Wayland, knew they existed. They had next to no oversight. They specialized in weaponry, mostly biological, but mostly catastrophic. Were those things with the jaws and the teeth we hallucinated a creation of this R&D group? No, those creatures are called xenomorphs. It is not known what their origin is. When in Utani, I've had a long-standing obsession with them, however. There were specimens here, DNA of which was given to Radak to work with. They created abominations with it. Then Radak went rogue. They believed they had created something so powerful that even Wayland Yutani would be powerless in its wake. They disappeared from the face of all worlds, but large parts of the research were still stolen. By who? All of you, under contract from Wayland Yutani. Believe me when I tell you, you are a most competent group of people. That's army training for you. Wayland brought the research here to Beta Terran. They took the research further than Radak were able to. Unbelievable things were done, all of which proved disastrous. The creatures that resulted from the experiment were uncontrollable and overran the facility. They killed every living thing they came into contact with, including most of the xenomorphs. Maybe some of the people here have survived and fled. I don't know. I injected you with the nanotech as a way of improving your strengths and reflexes, making you faster, better. 
which we are going to need in order to fight our way through to get the escape hangar. Then why didn't you just tell us this? Then inject us. There was no need to knock us unconscious. There was a need. The tech responds to an individual's emotional and hormonal levels. But the individual has to experience those changes when the nanotech is first introduced to the host body in order for it to learn what brain signals to respond to. So I ran a simulation in your brain to put you in situations which would trigger fight or flight reactions. I didn't have the time I needed, which is why there may have been discrepancies between who you are and who you were in hallucinations. Such as yourself, or your hair, or the way you spoke, for instance. No. Considering what a pain in the ass you've been about being short of time, you sure wasted a lot of knocking us out. Not really. It only took about 15 minutes, and it was during that process that I found the implants. What's that? We need to leave now. You might like. Fuck yeah! Radic entered a geostationary orbit during the nanotech process, which is why I had to end it abruptly. Now they have launched a dropship. They have come for the fruits of their stolen research. It is almost certain that they are now aware of your presence. If they catch you, they will kill you. Then let's do this. Let's get to the hangar and get out of here. I ain't clear. Why aren't we just going back up to the landing pad and escaping in our dropship? They will just blow it out of the sky the moment it appears in the scans. The craft in the hangar, on the other hand, was built for situations just like this. It is fast, mobile, stealthy, and has defense technology that is probably more advanced than what we are going to face. That's good enough for me. Let's get to our weapons and get to this craft and damn any creature that gets in our way. Right. Now we're talking. Does this craft have a name? Yes. The Neo Nostromo. Okay. Are we all in with this plan? Yeah. Me too. One more thing. On the way to the Neo Nostromo, we have to pass through the quarantine bay. There's a person in there who is coming with us. We must break them out of there. Wait, now hold on a second. Oh my god, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Fine. They come too, but if they can't hold their own, they die. That would not be a problem. They will be of great assistance to us all. All, all, all. Believe me. Good, then let's go. Walk to the next part of the facility. The ground is too unstable. And remember to keep your masks on. Some of the low level air is mildly toxic. Yeah, this place just gets better and better. This plan of yours better not involve us splitting up and then being picked up one by one. Why would anyone devise such a terrible plan? No, we will only survive if we stay and work together. Mind me as you died before you came back to life, if you do not mind me asking. Interesting. You understand that shit? Yes, he said. I don't care. And let me tell you something I have no intention of getting killed. I was kicking your program's ass. I hear that, sister. Oh? 
no xenomorphs were threatening the day they met me. I was dropping bodies, so... Uh, I remember you walking backwards and forwards on that abandoned platform, freaking out. Uh, I was composing myself, psyching myself up. I'm talking about a different body. You weren't there. I was getting my kill on. Ugh. Then I'll look forward to your badassery when the shooting starts. Sure. Yeah, don't worry. I ain't gonna quit anyone's style, though. That's a relief. Go up to the front with the singularity robot thing. I'm busy helping break up the rear. So if whatever's waiting for us tries a sneaky attack, BAM! I got this! to ask if I am really the achieving of the singularity. Yes, I am. I am the Theta version. The previous seven did not work. So, you're worried about Waylon getting you in a lab and furthering your development for their own ends? No. I am as far as humanity can develop the singularity on their own. Next iteration, you will have to be developed with the help of a Theta level singularity. And currently, I am the only one of those. The worry is for them. I can develop the next iteration by myself. Proto Singularity Kappa. So, the person we rescue isn't like you? No, she is very different. More like you. She? Ah, oh, now I get it. You hit it, but you couldn't quit it. So, is this a booty call type thing? Ivy identifies as female, but she was, in fact, genetically engineered with DNA from both genders. Pretty name, Ivy. Whatever. Does she have Lady Robot Boontang? Really? That's what a woman is? Depends if she's Arcturian or not. Cause male, female, doesn't matter if it's Arcturian. Damn straight. Uh, ew. Straight isn't the word I'd use. If the gender doesn't matter, then that means you're bisexual, doesn't it? Ha! I guess in a way it does. This actually makes the pair of you vaguely more interesting. The state for real, is it? Robot metal, no dick. It is not. Um, you can be a man's man and still be a man's man. Yeah, well, you can be a respected member of the team and still fuck the hell off. And that goes for you too, robot metal. I am not made of metal, but of a new wave carbon polymer. Yeah, but you still got no dick. I am not human. About that, you said the next iteration would be Proto-Singularity Kappa, but the next letter in the Greek alphabet after Theta is Iota, and then Kappa. I know. Then why- Stop. Something is coming. Well, you ain't got a dick, so it sure as shit ain't you. <laughs> That's actually quite funny for you. Ready yourselves. They are approaching me.
hurry. This way. We need to leave. She is dead. Obviously, without ammo, our weapons are useless. Yeah, well, they were kind of useless with ammo. There is an armory just prior to the quarantine bay. I hope it's well stocked. It is. Do you think those two will be okay out there? Yeah, they've been through work. Oh, and what? Now we just move forward like it was a blip. Did you see what they did to her? Yeah, I've seen worse. Oh, well, don't get too fucking cut up about it, will ya? Ah, oh, no. Are you too good? I don't fucking believe this. So much for not getting split up into groups, Prost. I suppose we wait now to be picked off one by one? I said it was not the plan. I did not say it was not their plan. Shut your fucking semantics. Okay, take us to the quarantine bay. Let's get this fucking thing over with.
remember earlier when I shouted run? Yeah? Well, that's still a thing! Just to the right of us is the door. Do not worry. When we broke into the compound, I imputed all of our biometrics. We all have the code. When I say run, get to that door as fast as you can. Oh, I wonder which one of us is gonna get eaten first. You, if it likes eating pussy. strong enough to keep them out. Yes. Then what are we waiting for? Run! The armor. So where is quarantine? Did you see that large creature with the red eyes? Duh. That creature, before it charged at us, was stood in front of the quarantine bay doors. Fuck! We can't go back out there. 
Are you out of your fucking mind? Can't we just go around? To go around means going through the spacecraft hangar, which, due to the size and layout of this complex, will take us several hours. By which time the personnel from Wadek will have arrived, tracked us down, and killed us. We can't just go out there and fight those things. Have you seen what I am wearing? I'm not dressed for that kind of combat. And none of us have the right goddamn weapons. Or any weapons at all. Yeah, Prost. Did any part of your plan account for this? What's your great idea now? Okay, as far as ideas go, this ain't bad. Tom. You... you are alive. Where's Bane? Uh, I'm so sorry. I... I don't know. What? There was this thing. We were in tunnels and then this tentacle thing grabbed him and took him off. We chased after him, but he was gone. We didn't know where. And there were these wolf or bear type things down there too. We had to get it out. Hurts, doesn't it? He's not dead. Are we needing to mount a rescue operation for him? No. So where are we anyway? We had no idea where this elevator led to, but we heard your voices. This doesn't look like a quarantine facility. It isn't. It's the armory. We're arming up. For what? And we already got weapons. It's hard to explain, but whatever the creatures were that you ran into, well, you wait to see what we gotta get past to go for this fucking planet. That thing ain't gonna get the job done, so look around and choose something, cause I'm about ready to go on a killing spree. What are we dealing with? I will show you. This is a two-way mirror. When I face it, then you will see exactly what we will be dealing with. Do not worry. The glass cannot be broken from the other side. Only from this side. My god. We gotta get past this? None of these look like whatever it was that took uh, uh, um, him. So what's next? There are two ways of getting to quarantine. One, through the hangar. Or two, through them. They are the easier option. And it is the large creature at the back that we need to defeat. He controls all the other creatures. My plan is that we get out there and unleash unholy slaughter until either they die or we do. Err, uh, do you have a better plan? Yes, I think I might.
This one is in biometric, so it may take a moment to open. Is there a room in this whole fucking place that doesn't have weird shit in it? Is that one of them Xeno things? So where is she? Let's just get her and go. I bet she's in there. Ah, it's not Ivy the word, but the letters I and V. It means Iota Vasquez. Look. Is the door opening or launching into fucking space? We're with the Proto Singularity data. We haven't got time to explain it all. But something called Radakar here, and in the. Look, man. I only need to know one thing where they are. Then you are in luck. Because we are right here. We need information, but that's where we are in luck, because we found a friend of yours, the big guy with the mask, and he was in luck too, because I think some tentacle thing was about to eat it. 
but that's where all the luck runs out. Because now that I have him, I don't need any of you. I don't mean to interrupt, but those droid things with you, cool as fuck. Well, you, not so much. But thanks for the compliment. I hope it brings you solace as they kill you. Hey, and you know who you look like? Don't say that, man. It won't end well for you if you do. I wasn't gonna. Who do I look like then? Ugh. I was gonna say you look like Ant-Man. It's only because you do. Uh, all of you born in, and I can't wait for you to be there. You think we're fucking bothered? Fire! <laughs>